Hi everyone, uh, welcome to another uh, table talk. So I've got uh, kind of a little bit, a bit of a discombobulated setup here, but uh, I've been asked a, a few times on my YouTube channel how I go about programming the uh, the Hobbywing Platinum Pro uh, speed controller that I use quite a bit with my uh, quad racing motors. Now it's a very, it's a pretty expensive speed controller, um, but a lot of speed controllers you can program uh, using the manual. Uh, in, a, in another uh, Table Talk video I did about speed controllers, I talked about the Turnigy Plush, which you can get a programming card for for a couple of bucks. It makes it a lot easier. But that ESC doesn't have anywhere near the menu and programming uh, capabilities, adjustability, as this one does. Uh, apparently there is a, uh, a box or a, a card that you can get, but it costs about $60. So um, anyway, uh, so I'm, I'm going to try and demonstrate here uh, the best that I can how to go through the programming using your transmitter to program uh, and set, you know, adjust the settings on your speed controller. Because I fly with this uh, Hobbywing Platinum Pro, uh, I fly with adjusted settings, uh, custom settings I should say, I don't fly with the default settings. Uh, so a so few things that you'll need, obviously a speed controller, uh, this is the uh, part of the manual. Uh, I won't try and put it up to the camera because I can barely read it. Um, but this is the area of the manual that shows the step-by-step -step on how to uh, program it. So you'll need that. You'll need a transmitter. Uh, you'll need a receiver. I have this receiver. Obviously you want it bound to the, uh, this, the transmitter. What I do in my transmitter in this one, I actually just have one channel that's called, I just named it Test. Uh, and, it, and it's for setting up uh, speed controllers or when I do bench testing on motors, things like that. That way I don't have to ever worry about uh, uh, playing around or messing up some of the settings that I might have in one of my airplanes. And I have this speed controller or this uh, transmitter bound. I just put an X on it so that I always know that's my uh, test one. Uh, you'll need uh, um, a, the, a battery. Uh, I'm just using a, an old... Uh, 3S LiPo here that I have on my bench uh, and you'll need a motor. Uh, I put the motor up here on top of this uh, paint can because uh, my, cam or my camera doesn't have a really strong mic so I wanted to have it up close. Um, I strongly, emphatically, with everything I have, encourage you take the prop off when you do this. All you need is the motor so that you can hear the beep series of beeps to know where you are within the, pro within the uh, programming menu. Uh, but just in case, God forbid, anything crazy happens or you advance the throttle at the wrong time, you don't want this thing uh, with a prop on it going flying across the room and, and cutting you or something else to, uh, to ribbon. So make sure that you take the, uh, the prop off. Okay, so there's essentially, uh, I'm, I'm going to do a couple of different, uh, I'm going to do, actually I'll do three different things here today. Today I'm going to reset the timing because I always fly with... Uh, custom settings in the timing and the PWM frequency and I only came up with those just through a very long series of testing on the bench to see which uh, gave me the best uh, efficiency and also power out of my quad racing motors. This is a, a GEP RC 2306-2750 quad motor. So essentially there's, uh, you'll, you'll enter the program mode and then you go over to uh, the uh, next part of the pull down menu, kind of pull down menu, if you think of it as like Windows or something, and that allows you to uh, determine what item you're going to program. There's up to 14 different items you can program here, and you list what you're listening. I'm going to be listening for is a series of uh, beeps, almost like Morse code. And then once I get to the right one, I will move the stick again, and then I'll be able to set the actual value within that programmable item. So for timing, uh, we're going to be listening for one long and one short. Uh, now when you first turn everything on, you're going to turn the transmitter on. Okay. If you're running, I use this as a, a throttle kill switch. So if I have that engaged and I plug in my, my motor, see if I advance my throttle, nothing happens. If I shut that off, the motor's hot. So you want to make sure that that switch is off, okay? So we'll unplug that. And again, got the prop off, we're good to go. Okay, so we're going to be listening for a series of five beeps after we first uh, plug it in. There'll be two single beeps, 
which is what we normally listen for if we're setting the throttle points, which I'm going to uh, show at the end after I show you how to uh, program the timing and the uh, pulse width modulation frequency. Okay, here we go. So throttle is off, uh, throttle cut is uh, kill is off. Throttle is advanced to the top. Uh, everything's good. Plug in the battery. Okay, five. So we're in the program item. So now it runs through a series of short tones. Appreciate your patience here. <laughs> We're getting close. Okay, one long. Okay, one long, one short. So now we're over in this menu. Again, we're going to go all the way to the end. We're waiting for one long and three short. Okay, we're into the long now. there. Okay. Advance the stick. Okay, I heard those five beeps. That means that the speed controller has accepted my setting. Okay, now the motor, the uh, speed controller now goes and it's initialized. So if I advance the stick right now, the motor's spinning. Okay, good. So there are several ways, and your speed controller, uh, you know, may be different. Uh, there are several ways to stay in this without having to unplug the battery or anything like that. Uh, and you can, you know, you can go back into the programmable items and, and keep on going depending on what you adjust, want to adjust. But just for the sake of this video, uh, I'm going to do that process one more time. And this time we're going to set the pulse width modulation frequency. So this time to enter it. We're going to be listening for one long and then four short. And then when we get into the uh, programmable values, you only have two different choices. Uh, there'll be one short beep, which is the factory default of 12 kilohertz. And I want two short beeps, which is 8 kilohertz on the pulse width modulation frequency. Okay, so throttle kills off. Advance the throttle to full. Plug the battery in. Okay, five beeps. All right. Okay, it's a bit of a long process. <laughs> but you know what, you want to pay attention so you don't miss something. Okay. Okay, two, one long, two short. Almost there. That was three short. Okay, boom. Two short. Chop the throttle again. Five beeps, so it's accepted my change in programming. Okay, motor is armed. You don't have to do this step after every... Okay, good. All right, so now I'm going to show you uh, the last thing is, and th th this is throttle points. And this is pretty standard for, uh, oh, sorry, I got some batteries charging in the back, hoping to go flying tomorrow. Uh, this is pretty standard for most speed controllers, but uh, check, check your speed controller. Uh, again, uh, if I didn't mention at the start, uh, some speed controllers, especially inexpensive ones, they don't come with a manual. But go back to where you bought them, like Hobby King, Banggood, wherever. Uh, quite often you can find uh, manuals that you can download and print off or just read so that you can um, uh, program it. Okay, so to th set the throttle points, we start off the same way. Throttle's kill switch is off. Throttle's advanced to full, and you want to make sure it's right to full because what we're doing here is we're telling the speed controller where 100% is and where zero is so that it knows exactly um, those throttle positions. So all the way to the top, battery plugged in, two beeps, chop the throttle. Ok, 
Okay, so now it's accepted the, the throttle points. It knows where zero is, and it knows where 100% uh, is. So there we go. So we'll unplug that and shut off this transmitter. All right, folks, so I, I hope that that's been helpful. Uh, as I said, I've had people ask me uh, how to go through it. Um, it is, you know, it is a bit tedious, especially for you. I'm, I apologize. You're watching the video uh, waiting for the proper beeps. But, you know, after you get a little bit of practice, uh, you know, it doesn't take very long at all. And it certainly is uh, uh, cheaper than spending, you know, $40, $60, depending on the speed controller, um, to get uh, a programming board or programming box. And you can, ex you can change pretty much anything that you can think of just by using your, uh, your transmitter. So just a quick review, uh, obviously you'll need a manual of some kind, you'll need your transmitter uh, bound to a receiver uh, of some kind, speed controller plugged into the uh, ESC or throttle port on your uh, receiver, uh, obviously your speed controller, uh, and a motor so that you can hear the beeps. And again, Please, for safety, uh, make sure that you take the prop off. So I hope that that's been helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below, and uh, I'll do what I can to help you out. I certainly don't have a lot of experience with every speed controller out there, uh, so I would, I would encourage you to, uh, to go online and try and find the manual and uh, see what you can find out and then figure out there. So, But uh, thanks again for watching. Blue skies, calm winds to everyone. Park jet noise, the other sound of freedom, baby. Take care.